So um, thanks, Nicole. Um, one thing that I would like to say is, you know, it's an honor to work with all of you, the Great Conservation District family. And we really do pull together and work together. And so we could not do this without the um, Center for Technical Development and their assistance, as well as the State Conservation Commission. So I have been your president for just under two years, and we'll go through sort of what happened this past year um, and share some announcements. So bear with me for just a little bit. Okay, hang on just a second. Technology glitch. Um, Nicole, how do I move my slide forward? Oh, there, thanks. Maybe. Whew. There you go. Perfect. All right. See, I've never done these things before. So um, this is just a little bit of an agenda so that you guys know what's going on. Um, Nicole already talked about the logistics and sort of raise your hands, type in the chat box as much as you can so that we can stay engaged. I'll go through a little bit for our new folks about who Wade is as an organization and who your officers are. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what we've done in the past year and then go through our track coordinators and then our super fun staff, the employee of the year, which Jacoba Saperstein will help me out with. And then we'll end with just a couple elections. We do have a few vacancies that we'll go through in just a few minutes. Um, and if you do have questions, please type it in your chat box so that we can answer those along the way. Nicole will be moderating the chat box. Um, I can't exactly see if you guys have questions, um, so please just type those in and Nicole will help and fill in. So um, the mission of Wade, we were really formed in the mid-late um, 1990s, so we've been around for 26 years. Um, the whole goal was to make sure that the state auditor's office and others were not presenting to different conservation districts five or 20 different times or 45 different times so that we could all get the same information at one opportunity. And so that really developed into the Wade Conference. Um, and so lifting up that professional development, and that's something that on the technical side, the Center for Technical Development has really stepped in and helped and taken over, um, which is wonderful. Um, and so we look forward to that. Um, your weight officers, I am currently present. Ryan Palmatier with San Juan Island City is um, vice president. Don Bikini is treasurer. She's with Whatcom. She's been treasurer for quite a while and does a great amount of work behind the scenes. Cindy Pierce is our secretary with Skagit. She stepped in um, late summer after the Wade conference and has been helping us out. Jacoba Saperstein, Mike Tobin, and Eric Choker are all three directors and they deal with Employee of the Year awards as well as sometimes the survey that we send out after the fact, after the conference. Um, and so I do want to point out, Dawn does an amazing amount of work. She helps make sure that we have our, um, our contract with the sleeping lady. She makes sure that all the logistics when we are there, um, your room assignments and things like that, and so much work goes on behind. So thank you, Dawn, for all of your efforts. Also, Andrew Fay, um, he is our tech guru for Wade. He makes sure our website is up to date. Um, he does so many different things. So I just wanted to call out a special thank you to those two folks um, for all of their efforts. Um, and as I did say, we could not have done this without um, both the Center for Technical Development and the State Conservation Commission, and also behind the scenes, the WACD. Um, so folks, you may not quite realize that there are lots of acronyms going on here, lots of different state organizations. Um, so we all work in tandem together. And so um, it's just important that all of us remember that um, we're not divided and it's not um, employees versus supervisors. It's really how are we getting the job done on the ground and what can we really do to lift each other up. And so um, the Center for Technical Development has been instrumental to get this conference on the ground. The State Conservation Commission has been so helpful to make sure all of conservation districts are thriving and doing our very best to put our best foot forward. So, and um, WACD has that lobbying impact, which really um, helps us to move forward and keep things going forward. Not, I'm not the best at describing things. Um, public speaking is not my forte, and so I may be sort of skimming the surface, but I do want you to know there's a lot of 
effort that goes on with all those folks. So thank you to everyone. Um, a little bit about our past activities this past year. Um, this slide is a tiny bit busy, but because it was a little busy, um, this has to do specifically with WADE efforts on the um, Washington Association of Conservation Districts, um, who voting members are supervisors. Um, we, as WADE, have a seat at that table, and so we participate in their board meetings. Um, we provide an annual update at their um, December after Thanksgiving conference. Um, we provide and sit on various committees um, when they're going through their bylaws or making resolution changes or adjustments. We have a seat at that table. And this past year, we also participated in the interview process for their new executive director. And so that was a, a multi tiered interview process. There were reviewing candidates over the summer with in person interviews in the fall. Um, and then we eventually selected Tom Salzer. Um, who is the uh, executive director and has been since January. Um, we also, this past year, did a little discussion on if you could ask your supervisor something anonymously, what would you do? Um, it was really quite interesting to see those survey resu results. So thank you for sharing. Um, a lot of, we presented that to the folks at the WACD, both their executive committee and then at the annual conference last year in Tacoma, um, folks were a little intrigued and it was nice to be able to open up and share what's going on. So thank you for contributing and sharing. Um, other things aside from WACD, we were working with the Center for Technical Development. We um, making sure that those certification credits are included in the conference. Um, we do participate at times with um, the State Conservation Commission and WACD and NRCS, um, they have a leadership forum that we work together and present um, concerns. And they also share what they need from us as um, district employees and how we can lift each other up and help. Um, we also maintain with the National Conservation District Employee Association, that's the NCDEA. Um, it's not quite known about too much, and I strongly recommend that you sort of look them up. They have a very um, intriguing um, Pacific um, newsletter that they put out. Tom Salzer, who is currently executive director of WACD, is now um, moved into that new role. And Mandy Parks, she is based out of California, is our Pacific region director. And so that includes Pacific Coast, Washington, um, Oregon, California, Alaska, Hawaii, Guam, Virgin Islands, American Samoa, and um, Vicki Carter is our alternate. And so just so you guys know, we are represented, the Washington employees are represented at the national level. Um, and also we do help support some National Association of Conservation Districts when they have technical assistance for um, certain conservation district grants. Um, and so I believe, I could be mistaken, there were five conservation districts that received some, some this past year. Um, and so we were able to help. And all their logos are on the bottom. Um, just so you know that we are working with very many different folks. So I'm going to move on just a moment. Um, this doesn't do justice to our track coordinators, but I do want to call out a very large thank you to all of them. Um, Eric Shu, Rachel McClure, Emmett um, Wild with, have been helping with the farm and field track, um, Ryan and Carrie with the climate and energy track, and um, Drew has helped with repairing and restoration. You'll be having some interesting um, sessions later on, including that um, a sort of roundtable forum later. Audrey, who's also from my office in Walla Walla, um, we'll be helping with the admin track, and she's been coordinating quite a bit to make sure that your questions are answered with those. Um, Liz and Andrew with IT, Dana and Nikki with um, the eco track, Ryan with engineering, and we're very pleased to have engineering back. Um, sometimes we do a hiatus with tracks. Um, we just wait a while, and we see what the need is, um, and uh, fill that in as as we can. We've had um, urban and shoreline tracks in the past. We've had forestry tracks in the past, and we will have them again 
um, but we've had a hiatus for engineering, so it's nice to have those guys back. Um, so thank you for all track coordinators for all of your efforts. Um, I, there will be a thank you follow-up with that, but I just wanted to say to everyone in the Wade community and all of our partners, thank you for all of your efforts bringing this forward. And if you are interested in be, participating in the future Wade conference, if you could just please send an email to Ryan Palmatier, or you can let us know in the post-conference survey that will be sent out. Um, you know what these webinars, web, um, sorry, getting a little flustered, going a little too fast, sorry folks. Um, these sessions, they have a, a post follow-up email, and in that email you will receive a link to the survey, and so please fill that out and let us know if you are interested in helping out and we'll be glad to set you up with the right folks. Um, it is sort of a joy to see how things progress and what um, interests there are in certain things and some things we can't quite do this year, we try to do a different year. So it's always good that we lift each other up. Thanks. Um, now, if we can, I would like to pause for a moment um, and reach out to Jacobus Sacristein and see if he is around so that we can um, start the employee of the year. So Nicole has. Yeah, Jacobus, you should be able to Yay. unmute yourself. You've got yourself on video, so just unmute yourself and you should be able to have at it. You're still on mute, Jacobus. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you. Great. Well, welcome everybody. Thanks. Um, it's been a real pleasure. It's one of the um, more exciting aspects of being a Wade director. I remember, there's three directors. I'm area one. There's um, myself, Tobin is also a director. Eric Choker is also out of Spokane, a director. And um, one of the joys that we get is to um, be involved with the employee of the year for um, across all the districts, we seek out nominations for employees of the year and get to review them and rank them and um, eventually make the tough decision to to select one as as the winner. Um, this year, let's see if I can advance or if that's someone else go to the next slide. How do I? Yeah, thanks. We had five nominations from across the state. Alex Martinson out of the King CD, um, Allie Nichols out of Pierce CD, Carrie Barusik out of Snohomish, Eric Shu also out of Snohomish, and Jody Prout out of Palouse CD. Um, I'd like to spend a few minutes highlighting each and every one of them and with some of the um, excerpts from the nomination forms that people submitted. And then um, after those five are kind of outlined, we will see who the winner was. Um, it should be noted too that all five um, nominees will receive a appreciation um, certificate that they were nominated and a um, gift certificate to Amazon to treat themselves as something nice. So uh, Alex Martinson, I get to work with him actually at my district, King CD. Um, He's a monitoring and evaluation coordinator at CD. Been there about four years. Moved through a couple different roles, but most recently um, in this role. And Alex has been instrumental in developing effectiveness evaluation methods that will assist KCD in communicating its value to partners. Alex has developed into a skilled collaboration leader. And last year, he stewarded an office wide GIS migration that now allows folks to build projects and plan maps in a consistent shared platform. So thank you, Alex, for your service. Next is Allie Nichols, a crop farm program manager at a Pierce CD. Some of the things mentioned about her that we'd like to highlight are she is a true leader and visionary I do not think I have worked with a service provider that is more effective while being a welcome 
an easygoing partner. Allie is a collaborative force on projects. Her leadership skills lie in synthesizing the many various perspectives of stakeholders and teams where they can fit together to make a more strategic and effective solution. In establishing the annual cover crop roundtable with WSU and other partners, she has expanded the reach of this work beyond the borders of Pierce County by registering farmers from as far away as Alaska, Oregon, and more. In doing so, she continues to raise the visibility and relevance of conservation districts in Washington State. Great job, Allie. And next, and some of the things the nominees said about Carrie um, out of um, Snohomish CD, she's a resource planner there. She is always thinking forward, and this year has worked bringing carbon planning conservation or conversation, sorry, to the table. Uh oh, I lost my slide. Thanks. Um, creating room for innovative discussions around how carbon planning can work towards all Snohomish Conservation District's goals to support better ground throughout the Puget Sound. Taking on this project, Carrie had a huge learning curve in understanding the program and jumped right in. She is an excellent presenter of material and clearly excited to be able to expand programming or assist anyone in learning about these efforts not traditionally implemented. Thank you, Carrie, for your great service. Eric Shu, also out of Oklahoma CD as a senior resource planner. I believe he's been there about 14 years, um, going on his second stint at Snohoma CD. Uh, Eric listens and he follows through. He is a true team player who stepped up to manage this program when the district and our dairy community needed him. This willingness to see solutions around barriers is just one example of Eric's innovation, creativity, integrity, dependability, and attitude. Eric does what needs to be done and he does it graciously and as a respectful and mature team member. Thank you, Eric, and that's a really nice fish you caught. <laughs> uh, Jody Prout, uh, Education and Outreach Coordinator at Palouse CD. The passion and overall enjoyment of her position has resulted in building and expanding on the district's education and outreach program. What makes Jody an irreplaceable addition to our team is her dependability and her overall attitude. She works tirelessly to come up with new ways to reach landowners and help promote conservation practices. This means that anything she produces is complete and to her high standards before it is ever distributed. Each piece of educational material and every event is quality work and something that the district can feel proud of putting their name on. So thanks to all five of our candidates for, and also importantly, all the nom people taking the time and effort to nominate these wonderful employees at your district. Um, it's really important to be recognizing um, the hard work that's out there, going on out there every day. And um, it does take a little bit of work to go through the nomination form, fill it out, and get one or more letters of support. Um, but that's really all we ask um, in your submittal process. And um, it was really, really fun reviewing all of the candidates and getting to learn a little bit about them and, and hear about some of the great work that you're doing. So you, as I said before, all five of you will receive a um, certificate in the mail with a gift card. But now for the drum roll of who the winner this year is. Next slide. It goes to Eric Shu. He was at he's at the Snohomish Conservation District. If you remember, you can go to the next slide. And um, just want to say some of the things that really stood out in reviewing his stuff for the review committee was his real leadership that he has shown in the dairy planning um, process there and creating. CNMP plans, also um, the RCPP partnership work that he's been doing at 
the district and being a real leader in that um, and developing a cover crop program too and even taking on extracurricular stuff like being a track coordinator at Wade in the farm and field. So sounds like he's wearing a lot of hats, taking a leadership role in with all those hats and uh, has dedicated 14 solid years of work at the through the conservation district at Snohomish CD. So thank you very much, Eric. A little silent round of applause to him, everybody. And um, um, here's to maybe 14 more years of working with conservation district. Thank you, Eric. And that's thank all you, I have. Jacobus. Yeah. That was wonderful. Sure. Can we pause here, Nicole? Do we have any questions or comments from the chat box? There are none at this time, but folks, if you do have any, please put any of those questions into the chat box if you've got any at this time. But Renee, it looks like you're good to go. Lots of congratulations uh, for Eric in the chat box. Um, congratulations, buddy. It is, and congratulations to all of the nominees as well. It was a great honor to sort of read through um, all of those forms and see how folks were doing. Um, so congratulations to everybody. Now, um, I would like to do a little bit of wait elections. And so this is why I wanna make sure you guys have your chat box handy. You know how to do your, to raise your hand because that's how we're gonna be doing elections this year. Um, so just a reminder, any um, WADE member are CD employees that are in Washington as well as employees of WACD or the State Conservation Commission. So all of those folks, are allowed to vote for vote for officers. And um, so the vacancy I as president am going to be stepping down. Um, Ryan, and so there's a vacancy there. Um, we do have two other vacancies. Um, Jacobus, who you just um, did the employee of the year announcements, he's also stepping down as well as Mike Tobin stepping down. So we're gonna have three vacancies. Um, the president is a two-year commitment. The directors are a three-year commitment. And we understand things happen. Um, and Jacobus, are you still around? Uh, yeah, I just unmuted myself. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Do you want to just um, state a little bit about what you have done as in your role as director over the past three years? Yeah, well, I'd say in addition to kind of the normal taking on or attending the, the quarterly meetings and various um, web meetings that we do or phone conference calls. Um, some of the things that the directors take a little bit more of a leadership are uh, is exactly that employee of the year that I just went through. Um, that's a big part. And also I've been spearheading the survey and developing kind of a Google form survey that we send out each year. Um, and it, a lot of it's also kind of as tasks assigned by the, the president. So you, you can do whatever is asked of you. It's not a huge commitment at all being a director. It's, um, so, but it's a fun way to be involved and give back to helping create um, great trainings for for our community. So I really encourage people that are interested, that like way, that want to see it moving forward, consider being a, a director position. It's a three-year commitment. I'm finishing up my three years. So um, we'd love to make room for someone else with new visions and new energy to um, move into that role. All right, well, thank you, Jacobus. So at this point in time, I would like to hear nominations from the floor. Um, so let's start by backing up just a little bit on that presidency role. Hang on just a minute, I realize I'm, there we go. So if you could just type in your name in the chat box, if you are interested in the presidency role, I know that Ryan Palmatier, who is currently the vice president, has expressed interest. And so he is a nominee um, for the presidency role. Um, if there are others, I'd be happy to entertain them. Um, we'll just give a moment um, so that you guys can type in, but we'll go through the presidency role first, and then we'll do the director's elections after. So right now, if you could type your name in, if you're interested in the presidency role, or we can let Ryan Palmatier sort of spearhead that. So Nicole, I just wanna grab you on, see if there is any 
interest in the chat box? Any comments coming through? What's the status? Sure, yeah, folks. So um, put in, in the question box, put your name. Uh, you can, if you're having any challenge with that, Alternately, you can raise your hand, and mm -hmm. I can acknowledge you that way as you're raising your hand to uh, volunteer uh, for that role of Wade president. It's a fantastic role. You get to do a lot of really neat things. Um, you've got a lot of vision you can put into it. It would be really wonderful. Uh, looks like in the chat box so far, Renee, I have Lisa who is nominating Ryan. No last name. I assume that's Paul here. Um, no other names or hands have gone up yet, though. Maybe a sweep section. <laughs> so, folks, <laughs> remember this. Yeah, please put your name in the hat if you're curious about it here. Um, it, it's always a great role. So we'll just give right. folks just a few more seconds if it takes you that long to, to write your name. We'll just give you a few more seconds here. Again, you can put your hand up or put your name into the questions box. Okay, Renee, seeing none here. All right, so seeing none, what I would like to do to gain consensus is either raise your hand or in the chat box, we have one nomination for Ryan Palmentier with San Juan to be president. If you could just type in yes, um, and then we'll pause. And if you're wanting to vote no, we'll do that after just a moment. But if you could just in the chat box um, type in yes or raise your hand. So we've got an affirmation that Ryan Palmentier from San Juan Island CD as president. Um, that would be great. Just let's there, get some. There are there are a lot of yeses, a few hands, oh, yay. a few seconds. Wow, Ryan, you got support, buddy. All right, we've got about 30 or more yeses so far. Okay, uh, and so for those, yeah, sorry, for those who also raised your hand, I can see those and I acknowledge them, thank you. Um, if you can now put your hand down, otherwise you are, all, you are already a nominee for the next position. So um, thank you. I can see thank those you who now put your hands down as well. So thank you for that. You got okay, a lot I of consensus here. We still need to see. So now that the chat box is hopefully calming down a little, are there any, um, what's the word, um, nays. negatives or nays, thank you, to having Ryan Thomas here as president? If you could type or raise your hand. And Nicole, I'll let you know if there are any. I am seeing none so far. Again, you can raise your hand. You can put no in the chat box. It looks like nobody has come out for a no. Looks good. All right. Sounds good. So I will take that as consent for Ryan Palmatier as president of Wade for the next upcoming session, so fantastic. Um, so that means that we do have a vacancy in the vice presidency role. And so um, I'd like to skip that for the moment and go into the two director roles. Um, so I would like to accept nominations from the floor. Don't be shy. And as Jacoba said, it's not too much of a time commitment um, that um, occasional phone conference meeting. I want to say we do maybe half a dozen a year. Um, it's a little bit more for track coordinators working with the um, president and Center for Technical Development. It's predominantly the months of, say, November through February, um, with another one in, say, March, April for Employee of the Year. So, Director, um, there are two. Please type in your name if you're interested for those positions. Um, and Nicole, you want to let me know if we've got anybody? I'll keep my eye on the question box, folks. So yes, please put your name in there. You can also raise your hand. Um, once again, if you would like to be one of those directors, again, a great role, not a ton of commitment, but you get to have a lot of impact on their Wade programs, not just this conference. Wade can do a lot more, and you will be able to be a part of that. With um, an entry level commitment for those director roles 
Um, it's a really neat way to get involved in something broader and bigger uh, than maybe just what you do at your district. So uh, please put your name in the question box or raise your hand for either of those director rules. Don't be shy. If you're trying to do it and I can't see your name, try again. Um, yes, I'm not doing anything always interesting. In. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything come in quite yet, Renee. Okay. Well, I am not quite too sure. Um, hmm. Well, I'm just going to give you one more minute. Um, I had something that um, this is Jacobus please, again. Jacobus. Don't be afraid. No experience is required, and it's more about being a helper than a director so if you're willing to be helpful then you can be very useful that's about it i agree and a lot of it is just um sort of uh, passing ideas back and forth to what do we think would be the right spot um to do something and so um yeah just chiming in your opinion making sure that we're all being helpful um, and presenting the needs of conservation district employees as a whole towards the forums that we have access to. Um, so yeah, those director positions are, are pretty easy and always willing to accept new blood, new volunteers and guinea pigs for the cause. So Renee, I do, see, I do see one hand up, Linda Lyshell. Linda, if you accidentally put your hand up, too late. You might be in already. Um, so we've got one there. And if that was incorrect, Linda, please uh, just put something in the question box. Otherwise, I do see your hand up, and I think that's wonderful. Linda, that would be fantastic. Um, thank you for volunteering, Linda. Um, can I get a consent from folks? A yes in the chat box or so to nominate Linda as one of the directors. Looks like you've got quite a few yeses. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Thanks for participating, everybody. So, okay. um, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, I was also going to say, Randy Stevens, I see your hand up, and I want to make sure that your hand was up in consensus, or is your hand up as a nominee? Um, what do you know, Randy? Maybe, Randy with maybe blue? a nominee. Randy might be a nominee, and you should probably put something in the question box if that's not the case. Oh, he was up for consensus. All right, Randy. Randy, okay. I think you would actually be a really good director. I've known you for quite a while. I knew you at WSC when we were there. Um, so I think you should consider being a director. It would be a great opportunity. Randy will never raise his hand for anything again. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, folks. Um, are there, since we have some consent for Linda, do we have any nays for Linda? Yeah, folks, either raise your hand right now as a nay, or you can put something in the question box if you are a nay. Okay, I am seeing none for that one, Renee. Perfect. So I will accept that we have Linda. Lyshaw for um, one of the director positions, so awesome job. And just a reminder that director position is a three-year commitment and tasked with employee of the year and sometimes the survey, um, not too much the commitment, so thank you for that. Um, so we have one director position field. Is there a nominee for a second director position? Okay, so at this time, folks, please raise your hand if you would like to nominate yourself. Um, otherwise, you can put a nominee or you can put your name into the questions box as that second nominee. There's some great people who you've seen pop onto the wave board right now. It's going to be a fun time in the next couple of years to participate oh, wow. in this. So please, anyone, you know this meeting won't end until someone nominates themselves. You guys know this, right? <laughs> That's right. We still got. We can make this go on for quite a bit. <laughs> um, I see. Um, we have someone in the chat box. Cindy Pierce nominated Nikki Wolf from King CD. Nikki is Ooh, Nikki would be a fantastic director. 
she would. Nikki, you would be amazing. If you are with us, Nikki, which it looks like you are, and you accept that nomination, you can either raise your hand and or uh, put something in the question box. You may get defaulted by Cindy. Cindy, that was a pretty bold move there. So Nikki, <laughs> let us know if that is, if you would like to accept uh, that nomination. Others, if there's anyone else, this would be fun if we could actually have a Democratic vote if we have many candidates here. Um, if anyone else wants to put their name up. In the meantime, Renee, it looks like Nikki has accepted the nomination. Awesome. Be that director number two. Employees, I, all those in favor, type in yes. Yeah, I saw no. And you, if you raise your hand now, that's in consensus. So I see a few hand raises, a lot of yeses in the chat box. So Fantastic. Like you've got Nikki. Yeah. Perfect. Since we've accepted the nays, we'll have to um, accept the yeses. Are there any nays for Nikki Wolf as one of the director positions? At this time, folks, if you have a nay because you really wanted the position instead, Andrew, I see your hand raised, but I would be surprised if that was it. Okay. Um, I think we just had a relic there. Okay. So at this time, either raise your hand or put a no into the questions box if you would have liked to be the nominee instead. Okay. Seeing none. Sounds great. And thank you, Nikki, that. for volunteering to be one of the directors. We look forward to working with Nikki and Linda as those new directors to represent um, district employees across the state. So this leaves the vice presidency role since um, Ryan Palmateer is going to be moving up to president. Um, and just a refresher, that vice presidency role is also a two-year commitment. And um, you fill in, you do about the same as what a director is. Um, but it's assuming that you'll go into the presidency role after. Um, so at this point, it is a little bit more, but it's also, I honestly signed up to be vice president and was vice president for about six weeks before Chrissy Cooley had to leave and do some other work. And so um, I stepped into the president not really knowing what to do. But you have a great network of support um, with Don Bikini, um, knowing all of that, Andrew Fay helping out the work that we have with the Center for Technical Development. I mean, it's really fascinating the role that you can step into as president and vice president. So current position open is vice president, and I would entertain any nominations from the floor for vice president to fill in the vacancy that Ryan Palmateer is um, as he's moving up. So Nicole, any Mm -hmm. nominees for vice president at this point in time. Yeah, okay, folks. So at this time for VP, this is your last chance to get involved with Wade. So please put your hand up if you'd like to nominate yourself. Um, if you would like to nominate yourself or someone else, please put it in the questions box at this time. Um, looks like there's a couple nominees coming in. So folks, raise your hands and or Put it into the questions box. So in the questions box, we have two nominees. Um, Cindy Pierce, once again, you rebel rouser, nominates Eric Shu, and Linda Leishal nominates Bill Blake. So if Eric no. or Bill, um, we could have a runoff here. Um, if either of you would like to accept that, and it looks I do not believe Bill Blake is with us in the room. Um, we have a second for Bill. Um, so if our, our two folks who have been nominated are Eric Shu uh, and Bill Blake. Eric, if, if you're with us and you accept being one of those nominees, will you let me know either by putting your hand up or typing into the questions box? Um, that would be great. We don't want to nominate for something you do not want to accept. I know you've got some other roles, so um, please let me know, Eric, if you want to accept that. It looks like Eric um, put in that he votes for Bill Blake instead. 
And since so, Bill is not here, um, we're yeah. not going to vote on nominating somebody who's not here and can't give consent. Um, so one of the options that we have is we can also reach out to Bill um, later and see what his interest is. And as a Wade board, they can um, they can vote in the new vice president on your behalf. So if there are any other folks that are interested currently, we have just Bill Blake. Since Eric is going to pass on that opportunity, um, are there any other nominees to consider at this point in time? So folks, yeah, please raise your hand and or put something into the chat box. Um, let us know. It looks like Cindy was going to check in on Bill. And Bill, by the way, if you're with us, but you decided to use a different name just to spice things up today, can you let us know if you're here by putting um, something in the questions box just in case you are here? Uh, and you would accept this, and we could check this one off the box. Let me know if you are here. I don't see your name, so I'm assuming you're not. Um, and Renee, I don't see any other folks raising their hands. I don't see any other folks putting That's names okay. in the chat box. We have so two new like directors. Bill. We have a new president, so that is fantastic. We'll reach out to Bill and see what his availability is. Um, I will still be on as sort of a past presidency advisory role, so I'll still be around to help you. Um, but at this point in time, I do want to thank you for all of your participation. And then Nicole has some closing comments. Um, but this, I, you know, it's very interesting how we adjust and adapt. And this is just one of those examples of us pulling together, but in a different format. We do wish we could all be together and network with you. That's what Wade is really. Um, known for is that networking, working with other conservation district employees and partners together. Um, but we're just going to do that a little differently this year. So with that, Nicole, you have some comments before we disperse to our sessions. 